at 10 right now. Tonight's governor's debate takes an ugly turn minutes after it ends. Brewer, why wouldn't you recant the comment you've made earlier about the beheadings in the desert? Wait until you see what the governor does next. Thanks for choosing us. I'm Katie Rammel. And I'm Steve Irvin. Tonight, immigration and the economy front and center at the first debate in the race for governor. But in Democracy 2010 tonight, ABC 15's Christina Boomer breaks down what we never expected to happen next. Republican Jan Brewer claimed union orchestrated boycotts of Arizona following SB 1070 hurt Arizona's economy. Talk about terrorism, when we talk about driving the economy down, it's because people yeah. like Mr. Goddard's supporter of the unions that are calling out and screaming out uh, for the boycotts, you know, driving, they want to drive our economy down. After saying he never supported the boycotts, Democrat Terry Goddard argued the governor has also played a role. What is hurting us right now economically are statements, false statements made by Jan Brewer about how Arizona has become so violent that we are a place of fear, that we have beheadings in the desert. Those are false statements. They cause people to think that Arizona is a dangerous place and they don't come here and they don't invest here because our governor has said such negative things about our state. And Jan, I call upon you today to say that there are no beheadings. That was a false statement and it needs to be cleared up right now. And you know, uh, Terry, I will call you out. I think that you ought to renounce your support and uh, endorsement of the unions that are boycotting our state. She sidestepped the question about the beheadings several times. So as soon as she emerged from the debate, I asked her. Brewer, why wouldn't you recant the comment you've made earlier about the beheadings in the desert? That's a serious question, Governor. Well, this was an interesting evening tonight. She doesn't answer. Instead, reiterates a debate talking point, charging that Goddard doesn't have a plan. Brewer, why won't so you recant the comments about the beheadings? To move, uh, forward. Okay, but Governor, seriously. As other reporters chime in, demanding an answer, this happens. Governor, please answer the question about the headless bodies. Why won't you recant that? Do you still believe that? Come on, Governor. Okay, thank you all. Governor, what do you mean? Governor, oh. Oh. Well, I'm, I'm astonished, frankly. Uh, everybody who studied this knows there are no beheadings. Arizona has the lowest violent crime rate we've had since 1983. Our law enforcement has done a great job. And why the governor won't simply say, I was wrong. There were no beheadings. Arizona is safe. I do not understand. This is hurting us incredibly. I did tweet the entire debate, so you can find that feed under my name on Twitter. We've also taken raw sections of the debate and separated them into five-minute chunks by topic. You can find that right now on abc15.com. That way you can click and hear about the issue you care about. Christina Boomer, ABC 15 News.